So I was thinking to myself, what happens when you boil watermelon juice? Well, I wanted to find out. And to find out, there's only one thing to do, and that's to do it. So I got a watermelon, and I sliced it up, and I extracted a bunch of juice out of it, and I got some left over here, and we're gonna, we're gonna boil some up. See what happens. <laughs> okay, so there it is on the stove. I'm just boiling it up a little bit. It's funny is that the coils on the stove are looking purple on this and they're actually red. So let's get a spoon out. The heat on high, so we'll turn it down a bit. Six. I mean, you know what, let's leave it on high. We want to get it really boiling. This is just watermelon juice that I, I had a watermelon. And uh, yeah, sliced it all up and got some of the juices out of it. Now, I'm guessing that it's probably just going to reduce down, but I have no idea. But we'll check back in a little bit and see what happens. Look, all the sugars are separating. That's kind of cool. like getting really thick and bubbly I mean you can start seeing like the chunks I guess of what was left in the watermelon huh. alright well we're gonna keep boiling it away until I can see something that looks a little different okay, okay so it's been boiling about five minutes now five ten minutes I've definitely lost about half of what I've had in here. It's starting to smell something funky. This is really weird. I didn't expect watermelon juice to to do this. But I was trying to decide what I'm going to do with it. And then the only thing I thought I could do with it is, you know, once it's done boiling, chill it off and, uh, and drink it. I'm not going to lie to you. It's starting to smell weird. So... I don't want to boil it all away and then have nothing to drink, which, if by the smell of it, it's going to taste terrible. There we go. Alrighty, back soon. Okay, so I was thinking about how I need, what I'm going to do to drink this, and obviously it is boiling, boiling hot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour it into this mug so I can put it into the freezer. I was going to pour it over ice, but then I was like, well, what's the point in boiling it if I'm just going to add water to it? So there we go. It's going into my my mug there that I got, and you can see what it says. Uh, Save the Earth. It's the only planet that has chocolate. So we're going to stick that in the, in the freezer for a minute, get it cooled down, and then we're going to try it. Okay, so... Here's the watermelon, been reduced, and we're gonna... Still steaming a bit, but that should get it nice and cool. And I guess we're ready to try it. Oh, okay, so I've got my reduced watermelon, and we're gonna try it. It smells horrible, by the way. I was just told it smells like cucumbers. So, cheers. Oh. 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 Oh, God, that tastes horrible. <laughs> oh, my. It tastes like a carrot. Oh, doesn't taste like watermelon. One more. 
It's like carrot and tomato juice mixed. Mm -mm, I can't. All right, well, that was for you. This is disgusting. Later.